Hi, Ambassadors. Rick here from the Equal Life Ambassador Program. This is Impact Tutorials, and this tutorial is um, getting your product specific links from Impact. Uh, this is a very common question, so a very popular tutorial, I would expect. Um, I've shown you in a previous tutorial how to grab your link just very basically, your general tracking link on the right hand side of your dashboard here. I want to reiterate that will, that will work for any kind of recommendation or referral you make. Um, but the product specific links are a little bit more convenient <clears throat> and it's really what a lot of people are looking for, um, when they're making recommendations or sending recommendations to their clients, I should say. So they act the same way as deep linking would, um, so think of it as an alternative to deep linking if you're familiar with that type of thing. So to get started with your product specific links, all you need to do is click the content tab at the top of your dashboard and click assets. Now there's a bunch of other stuff here. Literally just ignore all this stuff. It's going to be nothing that you need or is applicable to the ambassador program. All you need to know is content assets and that's where everything is housed. So I'm going to click assets. And I've clicked assets. I'm just repeating myself because it looked like the screen froze and I don't know if my audio came through. And that will take you to your assets screen. And basically this is where every product on our site and pretty much every page as well um, is housed in here. And basically you can link to any of these products, any of these pages directly with your impact tracking attached to it. Uh, I also upload each week our monthly pro or weekly promos that you can also link to. So at this recording, we have a great uh, immunity promo, 30% off immune support products. Um, you can share that with your clients. But most people are coming in here to be able to link their clients to a specific product. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate. So I'm going to... It's really the easiest way to do it is to use the search bar at the top. I mean, you can sit here and scroll through. Um, you'll find the products eventually, but there's a lot of products. So I would just recommend searching. Uh, one quick note when you search, if it doesn't render the correct product on your first search, just try to research it using like a different term or a different word because uh, sometimes like if you search, like let me try DNS. So see, DNS won't bring anything up. And obviously that's probably a link that most people are interested in getting. Um, but you're going to want to search daily nutritional support. That's what it'll be under. So just stuff like that. If you don't see it initially, it doesn't mean that it's, that it's not there. It just may mean that it's named something slightly different and impact doesn't recognize what DNS is or that DNS means daily nutritional support. If you search daily nutritional support, then you'll see the correct results render. So we'll just use this since I brought this up. I'm going to pick vanilla because I like the vanilla a little bit better. <laughs> um, and the bags are nice as well. So this is the daily nutritional support bag. So once you pulled it up, you're going to click it right here. And as you can see, here is your product, daily nutritional support bags, vanilla. And there's ways that you can um, embed this on like a website through the ad code via either an HTML or an iframe code. Um, you can you can look into this if you want, but the majority of ambassadors are just looking for the link to the product with their tracking attached. And the way to get that is to click this tracking link heading here. And then all you need to do is just click copy tracking link. And you can see it says link copied. And that's it. It's that simple. So now we have that link and I'm just going to demonstrate by going to my address bar, pasting that right in, hitting enter, and you will see the daily nutritional support has popped up. Now, for some reason it's not rendering, actually it looks like it does. Yeah, the flavor is vanilla and the packaging is bag. So unfortunately, I guess on the site, it just renders a random um, image. So this happens to be the chocolate canister, but you can see it actually did render your correct flavor and your correct packaging. So the link did work. Um, and again, once you, once again, you can see 
at the end of this URL is your impact ID. I highlighted that in our general tracking link tutorial, but just wanted to touch upon it again. That's how you know it's the correct link. Um, and then you just go and say, okay, now I want to purchase this uh, one time, add to cart, and it's added to your cart. But then maybe you or your client decides, well, you know what, I actually want, um, I always do B complex, but it's just, I like the B complex, so I'm going to do it. Um, maybe I want B complex so as well with my DNS. So they go to the B complex page and you'll notice that your ID is dropped off again. That's okay. As I covered in the general tracking link tutorial, the ID will be there once you initially land on the page, but as you navigate through the page, it will go away and it doesn't mean your tracking has gone away. It just doesn't, it doesn't follow you through your, the page, but it's, it's totally normal. Another question, and the reason I'm showing you, reason I'm going to the Activated B Complex is another common question I get is, hey, I sent my client to the vanilla DNS bag, um, but what if they go and purchase something else in addition to the DNS? Like, will only the DNS track and the other stuff won't? That's not the case. Anything that they purchase within the shopping trip will track as part of the full, the full order. So if they want to be complex, we'll add that to the cart, and then we go and check out. And you can see here is the activated B complex. Here is the DNS. They'll go check out. When this order is completed, both of these items will track. Doesn't matter that they came from the DNS page. Anything within the shopping trip will track. So that's going back to the impact dashboard. That's <clears throat> basically the gist of your product specific links. It's really, really easy. Um, I do want to demonstrate one more thing for you. Uh, just because I'll use my favorite activated B complex again <laughs> to demonstrate this. So here I searched activated B complex and you can see here is the activated B complex, uh, ad, but you can see there's no picture. Now I'm eventually going to fix all these and get, make sure they all have pictures again. Something got messed up from the initial, um, like upload. But hopefully these will all have pictures pretty soon. But I wanted to bring this up in case this happens again, because this does randomly happen with impact where the pictures don't render. And the reason I wanted to show you an example of this one is it doesn't mean that the link is bad. It just means the picture is not showing up. The link to the product itself is fine. And you'll see that here. So I go, I'll go get my activated B complex tracking link. I'll paste it at the top of my address bar, hit enter. And then as you can see, it brings me right to that page. Uh, if it ever loads, <laughs> and it brings me right to the page, no problem. And I can go and get my activated B complex. And once again, to confirm your impact ideas at the end, which means your tracking link is working. Uh, so that is basically the, the gist of um, product specific links from impact. Um, I One more note of caution, the last time I, recorded a tutorial. They changed this screen around, which is partly why I'm re-recording this, but um, Impact does change things around occasionally. The functionality as far as going into your content and asset screen or whatever they end up calling it in the future, uh, searching for the product, clicking on the product, and then clicking the tracking link and copying the tracking link, that functionality shouldn't change even if they, they mess around with the screens or they change how they call things. So I just wanted to, you know, call that out. So you can rest assured if this, if your screen looks slightly different than my screen in this tutorial at some point in the future, uh, it should be fine. So anyway, hopefully this helps you get your product specific links from impact and I'll see you on the next tutorial.